Jungle Book. Today, Jungle Book animal is the closest animal to humans, and they are playful and very smart, and they sound like this. Can you guess which animal it is? That's right. We're going to talk about monkeys. Ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ah, ah. What are we waiting for? Let's go on our jungle safari. Brr, brr. Beep, beep. Let's learn about monkeys. What are monkeys? Monkeys are mammals. And they are part of the primates order, like apes, lemurs, and us humans. Apes like the gorillas, orangutan, and chimpanzees can look very similar to monkeys. One easy way to tell the difference is that monkeys have tails and apes don't. Check your hand. Did you notice that you can move your thumb around whichever way you want? Now try to grab something. Did you notice that it's hard to grab something without your thumb? Monkeys have thumbs on both their hands and feet. They can grab onto branches easily with both their hands and feet. I guess that's what makes monkeys. Excellent climbers. Hi, I'm Baby Monkey. If you like learning about us, please subscribe. There are over 260 species of monkeys, so monkeys can be different in size, looks, what they eat, and how they live. Oh, I love taking hot bath. Monkeys come in two types. The Old World monkeys. They live in Asia and Africa. And the New World monkeys. They live in the Central and South Americas. Let's check out some of them. The pygmy marmoset monkey. It's the smallest monkey in the world. This New World monkey can leap thirty times their body length from tree to tree. It can also turn its head backwards completely to check if there are any predators. Next up, the mandrill, the largest monkey in the world. It has blue and red face. When a mandrill gets excited, its face turns brighter. They also have long teeth, but don't worry. Mandrills are pretty friendly animals. Mandrill is an old world monkey, and like most old world monkeys, mandrill can store snacks in their cheeks to eat later. Baboons, another large old world monkey. It kind of looks like a mandrill. It has a brown or black color. Baboons are very social animals. They live, eat, and sleep together in a group called a troop. A baboon troop can have up to 300 members. Capuchins. All monkeys are smart, and capuchins are very, very smart. Capuchins. Can use tools to solve problems. They'll smash some nuts with a rock. Do you know the movie Pirates of the Caribbean? Jack the Monkey is a capuchin. Proboscis monkeys. It's a long-nosed monkey. Sometimes the monkeys would leap from tree branches. Into the water to cross over to the other side. Proboscis monkeys have webbed feet, making them excellent swimmers. And this helps the monkeys swim away from the crocodiles, their predators. 
Oh, you got it. That feels good. Howler monkeys. This is the loudest monkey in the world. Let's just hear it out. Howler monkey is a new world monkey with a long prehensile tail. Prehensiles means able to grasp. So the new world monkeys can use their tails like another arm. Spider monkey. Spider monkey is also a new world monkey. Did you know that most monkeys don't swing from a tree branch to another? But most monkeys just climb and jump from trees. But the spider monkeys can swing. Look at the IUCN Red List. The list studies how the animals are doing and tells us which species are threatened. Out of the 260 species, 164 species are either critically endangered, endangered, or vulnerable. This means there is still a very high risk of many of our monkey friends going extinct if we don't do anything to protect the animals. Let's love and protect our monkey friends! Yay! That's a wrap for Torture's Jungle Book of Monkeys! I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to subscribe!